Hey guys, I know this isn't the video that you were expecting, but as we get ready to start the Halloween special, which will be longer than our usual videos. George, you told me that I was the only one to make this announcement. No, I said you had 30 seconds to make this announcement and you spent the first 20 seconds saying nothing. Oh. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this compilation of us playing Batman Arkham Asylum. See you guys next time and have a wonderful day. Man, I love this game so much, I just wished Barack or Donald would play with me. Hey Joe, it's... what the hell am I looking at right now? Oh, hey Barry, it's been a while. Joe, don't dodge the question, just why in the world are you playing that piece of shit? Don't be hating on this masterpiece, Obama. This right here is what true gaming is. No the hell it's not, Joe. If you want to know what actual gaming is, jump over to my stream so I can show you what a real game is. Nah, I'm trying to get my favorite character from this banner. I already spent over $400, so hopefully I get her this role. Okay, this game is dog shit. Joe, please tell me you were joking when you said that you spent over $400 on Genshin Impact. Actually, it was more like $800, but I don't want to think about that, so let's just move on. Yeah, I think that's for the better. Well, let me start up the game. Wait, aren't we going to wait for Donald? I don't think we'll be seeing Donald for a bit with his 37 charges. I heard he was secretly sent off to prison, and that's where he's been staying since he got charged. Wouldn't the news already report it? With how Donald's cult followers are, I'm surprised they haven't tried another January 6th. They were extra careful not letting this slip to the public. I hope Donald is okay, though. I really don't care what happens as long as I get my second term. But knowing Donald, I bet he bribed some of the guards and is now living in some secluded area in the prison. Probably. Okay, how about if you sneak me in some McDonald's, I'll give you a 30% discount on my golden Donald Trump shoes. Signed, of course. Mr. Trump, for the last time, this type of behavior is not tolerated and could get you into more trouble. Look, I'm a fellow Trump supporter, but you really have to follow the rules. Man, fuck the rules. Look here, Steve. Everyone outside is against me, and you may be the only one who may actually be on my side. But if I have to eat one more vegetable from this prison, I will die. <sighs> let me see what I can do. Thank you, Steve. Now for my second favor is to let me have some alone time in the showers. The last thing I want is for Big Tyrone to show me how he quick time events my ass. I don't know about that Mr. Trump. The best I can do is to put more surveillance on you. Well, unless you slide me a tip, then maybe I can do something for you. Of course you ask me for money, but as long as my ass is safe, no price is too big. So, how does six dollars and some loose change sound? You gotta be fucking joking. Ah, peace and quiet. I knew that Steve guy was smart. Now I don't have to worry about Obama's cousin sending loaded missiles to my ass. Now where did I put the soap? Man, I gotta be more careful where I put the soap at. If this was with everyone else, my ass would have been cooked. Thank God for Steve saving my- Hey there, pretty boy. You're gonna pick that up, right? Around here, we don't like wasting soap, so I suggest picking that up. Please, man, I can get you whatever you want. What I want is for you to pick up that soap. I'm getting excited if you know what I mean. My anaconda is waiting, orange juice. Well, at least I won't hear his annoying ass voice for a while. True, now I have one less dumbass to hear. Come on, Barack, I know you don't mean that. Joe, you're as useful as a wet paper towel. You're saying when you know damn well I carry us on duos. And you're forgetting that you fall asleep midway through the match, causing us to lose. I have no clue what you mean when you say you carry when you fall asleep mid-match. I'll prove you wrong, Obama, just you wait. Whatever, right now I need to focus up on this combat. I'm a bit rusty since we had to quit the Batman Origins run. Wait, we played Origins? Not surprised you forgot. We had to quit because your dumbass decided to piss on Donald's PS3 thinking it was a toilet. I still don't know how you mixed a game console in a fucking toilet. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, some voice in my head told me to piss on Donald's PS3 to save our lives or some shit. Then how about you listen to the voices outside your head when you do some stupid shit like that? I don't know, Obama. That voice sounded urgent. Then take those pills you get prescribed, Joe. It can make all those imaginary voices in your head go away. Man, those pills taste like absolute ass. That's why I just use my new USB stick with the chocolate chocolate chip flavor installed. Shit wakes me up better than the pills could ever do. 
USB, are you vaping, Joe? Do you have any idea how bad that is for your health? Shut up, Obama. You're not my mom. Your old ass is definitely not making it four more years. Like you know anything about being President Obama, your black ass could never get elected. Joe, you racist old bastard. Did you forget that you were my VP for eight years? I swear that dementia is getting worse and worse each year. Wait, I was your VP? Uh, oh, I remember now. Yeah, how could I ever forget something as amazing as being under your wing, Obama? Just like that one time when you and me stripped naked and- Joe, shut the fuck up. Be able to support my weight if I grapple up to them. How many times do you Oh, keep away for this little piggy fries. Only one hit, lame ass boss fight. Joe, he's just to show the player how to use the takedown mechanic. He's not a boss. Yeah, I can see that with how easily he went down. I bet I can take him on a 1v1. Can you hear me? It's thing on. <laughs> Jesus, Joe, calm down or I'm kicking your horny ass from the call. My bad, Obama, but Harley just unlocked something in me. I may need a new change of depends. Christ, I would expect this type of reaction from Donald, not you. Sorry, I'll try to hold back whenever she shows up. You better. For now, we have to chase after the Joker. Hopefully he has something more than just some Joker goons. Goon, I heard my son goons around with his furry friends. Sometimes he invites them to our house, but they always carry big boxes of something. Your son is a freak, and so are you. Come on, man. There's no escape, Joker. I will find you. Ooh, I'm counting on it. Just not yet. Joker always pulls the most out-of-pocket shit from nowhere. But that's what makes him such an entertaining villain. I don't know, Obama. I think he's a misunderstood villain. You did not just say that. Yes, I did. Joker was a regular person like me and you. I don't think being older than the sun counts as normal. Shut up, Barry. But he then was forced into becoming a criminal, the Red Hood to be specific, and joined up a gang to get enough money for his wife and unborn child. Joe, you do know in that same scene he tells Batman that he himself doesn't know if that's what happened. Joker got hit with the Biden dementia and was probably just spouting random shit to catch Batman off guard. I still think he's misunderstood. This right here, folks, is what happens when Donald eats his 80th Big Mac. Or when your crackhead son snorts up that high-grade white snow. Leave my boy alone, Obama. He's just a little special is all. Yeah, he's special, all right. Special in the head, that is, just like you, Joe. Fuck you, Obama. Is this rat man ever going to escape this place, or are we just going to be stuck here? Because this is getting boring. If you can't even focus on a game for this long, then I have no fucking clue how you'll do in the presidential debates. Don't worry about me, Obama. I've been cooking up some fire-ass responses. You should be more worried about Donald. His ass is about to get cooked. That better be true, Joe. This may be your last opportunity to show the country that you're not incompetent. Or you can take my advice and drone strike Yemen, like how you did with that dad getting water for his family. Jesus, Barack, you really need help. Maybe some skibbity toilet or digital circus can calm that crazy mind of yours. How about you watch some more age-appropriate shows? I'm glad that your old ass is somewhat playing age-appropriate games, with the exception of absolute shit impact. Please don't mention that game, Barry. I feel like crying with how much time I spent on it. Luckily, I got a new game to replace it already. Is it Batman or a new open world game like Tears of the Kingdom? Nintendo has been on a roll lately. I'm not a kid anymore, Barry. I have outgrown Nintendo. No, the game I'm talking about is Honkai Impact the Third. Bruh, that's legit the same game. No, it's not Barack. The story is fascinating and... Keep it in your pants, Joe. I don't want to hear about that weeb shit when we were playing Batman. Fine. He's got your father. Dad. Don't worry, I'm getting him back. Man, I wish Oracle was still Batgirl. I really wanted her to show up in those tight spandex. I do still wish she was Batgirl. Those suits squeeze in all the right places. I knew you would understand, Barry. Maybe we have more in common than I thought. Yeah, the only thing is that I'm talking about the adult version we see in the Arkham universe, not the kid version, you fucking pedo. Shut up, Obama. Don't go acting like you haven't peeked at Nightwing's wagon. I can't even lie. Man has a glorious ass that will make anyone tweak out. The difference is that Nightwing is an adult. Arkham Asylum is now under new management. He is 
Quick update on what's going on. Some idiot is running around the asylum dressed like a bat. I know. Okay, this should be the last part, and after this, we should be able to explore Arkham Asylum. Finally, I was about to fall asleep with how uneventful this game is. You have zero room to talk, Joe. Now, how about we talk about that debate that's coming? Is there going to be a camera in Donald's cell, or are you going to free him? Oh, right. Um, I don't know. They can just put a bag of Cheetos on his podium, and it would be like he was there. As funny as that would be, you should really free him? Or do you not want to use those fire roasts you quote-unquote cooked up? Hmm, yeah, you're right. Maybe I can convince some guards to set him free, but only that. I'm still not pardoning him from his other charges. Bet we can have Donald play with us next time. Maybe he'll have some prison stories he could tell us. Like how he got to eat three times a day instead of 46. I doubt anything he says will be entertaining or be worth paying attention to. You never know, maybe his pumpkin ass got put to work. Doubt it. All right, this should be good enough to end it. Oh man, just when it was getting good? Well, we can continue playing when Donald gets set free. You really want me to free him? Fine, I'll see if I can do anything. Then I'll see you later, and good luck beating the Sleepy Joe allegations. I just hope Kamala doesn't get too mad. I'm back, losers. Welcome back, Donald. How was prison? I still can't sit right. What was that? Nothing. Anyways, I saw that you treacherous rhinos decided to play Batman without me. Yeah, we weren't going to wait for your pumpkin ass to be set free. Wow, I can't believe I was playing with such fake friends. Man, no one cares what your orange ass has to say. All you ever do is spout out malarkey. Stop lying, Joe. Maybe if you didn't sound like you were half dead, then maybe we would respect you. Donald, don't bring up that trash ass debate to this. Let's just continue with the game and forget about the debate for today. Of course you would want to avoid the debate. After all, I obliterated Sleepy Joe. Really now? Then tell me, how would you handle the war in Ukraine? Well, first of all, I have to say that if I was in office, then that shit would have never happened. Secondly, I must say that Joe has no fucking clue how to properly stand up. Just look at him. Donald, this is Discord. Oh. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> take that fat ass. I have no idea why you're laughing, Joe. Your ass didn't do any better. Come on, Barack, do I have to tell you how badly I destroyed Donald in that debate? I sent his ass packing. Fake news. The dementia is strong today. So let me remind you how it actually happened. Do I really have to be here? There wasn't someone else to pay so they could referee too. Sir, you're live. Oh shit, welcome people of America to the presidential debate of- Yeah, can we just get this over with? I got places to be, shit to do. Donald, don't be rude. Sorry, miss, you can continue. Right, so this question is for you, former President Trump. How would- Okay, so cut that former shit. We all know that I will win this debate, then the presidency. In fact, you could have substituted Joe for an open coffin, and it would be like he was here. This man is not even real. He's an NPC. What a load of malarkey if- Mr. President, please speak when it's your turn. All right, my bad, Mary. Right. So, Mr. Trump? Stop right there. I already know what you're going to ask. You do? Yeah, it's pretty obvious, and the answer is yes, this orange tan is natural. And I know you're jealous, but for a limited time offer, I can share you the same sunscreen I used to get this for $499.65. Believe me, it's going to be the best investment you will ever make. Did, did you just sneak in an ad for... Man, this debate is going to shit real quick. You know, we can hear that, right? Good. Now, Mr. President, tell us how you would handle gun control. So first, we demand the buyer to show us their medical history, no but or ifs. They are going to be forced by law to show us those documents. They will also be checked if they had any criminal past. How would you enforce that, President Biden? It's a gun store, so we hold them at gunpoint. Now let me tell you how- Shut your lard ass up, Donald. It's still my turn. You don't have to be so rude. Next, for those who don't have a criminal past of any debilitating medical history, they are forced to take a test. The test itself will ask them to pick their favorite ice cream flavor. Should we stop him? Hold on, let him cook. Of course, there will only be one right answer. Chocolate chocolate chip, if they pick anything else, then they are clearly a psychopath and should be shot immediately. That's a bit brutal. Also, they will be asked if they had any sexual Mr. relationship President. with aliens. Mr. President, Mr. Radio President, can you hear me? Yeah, I remember that differently. 
How are you even alive? It sounded like cement when you fell down. I got fed up with people saying that I can't stand up straight and that I fall asleep too much. So I had my skeleton coated in steel, hoping that would help me with my posture. In hindsight, almost anyone would realize how bad of an idea that is. Too bad we're dealing with a dementia riddled old man. Oh, come on, man. So do you just have steel coated bones like a wish.com Wolverine? Basically. How are you even moving around, actually? There's no way you're actually strong enough to move around with all that steel. My mind is weak, but my body is strong. Well, that's what Jill tells me anyways. Just look at that perfection. When I get back to office, the first thing I'll do is contract the military to build me a Trump mobile. And do what with it? You clearly aren't going to do anything good. Oh, shut up, Barry. Maybe I'll let you drive it if you give me an N-word pass. Hmm. Only if you pardon me for my crimes that I will commit with the Trump mobile. Oh, shit. Uh, I didn't actually think I'll get this far. Wait, can I also have a spin of the Trump mobile? I know if I win a second term, Kamala won't allow me to do anything fun. We're supposed to be mortal enemies right now, but I'll be a little nice and give you some advice. Just slap the bitch, Joe. You're the goddamn president and no one can tell you no. With the Supreme Court making the president a king, he means it literally. But, um, don't actually do that, Joe. I'll keep that in mind, Donald. Thanks. Okay, we should be getting closer to where Harley took Commissioner Gordon. Oh man, I can't wait to see my beautiful clown see. What the fuck, Joe? Come on, Barack, don't be acting like you never wanted Michelle to dress up like Harley. Actually, maybe not. Just imagining that gave me shivers. I have no clue why you even like this design of Harley. This suit is the worst iteration next to the Suicide Squad design. It's not that bad, but I would rather she took off that goofy ass mask. Almost like her Arkham City version. Still nothing can beat the skin tight red and black version. That is the definitive Harley Quinn design. Won't argue with you there, Big Orange. Man, I gotta search up all of these Harley Quinn costumes. Maybe I can have Jill wear one. Joe, keep those thoughts to yourself. Finally, I swear I thought I was watching a documentary about your life, Obama. You were swinging around like you were back home. Donald, you're lucky your beach ball ass is at home and not clear. next to me. You're safe now. Or else I would have given you flashbacks about your prison time. Oh yeah, I forgot you went to prison. So, any interesting stories you can tell us, Donald? Oh, uh, of course. You know when I was first sent there, this big looking guy came up to me and started to mess with my luscious hair. Thugs Calling that wet raccoon hair is an hostage. insult to hair as a concept. They have with them? Shut the hell up, Barry. This is about me, not there. you. I couldn't tell Where was I? They oh, right. Didn't. So he was messing with my hair, and I told him, keep that shit up and I'll knock your teeth out. No cap. Really? And fine. here I thought you'll be someone's bitch. Glad to see you got some balls, Donald. Dead. Joe, if he you actually said that, his ass would have gotten a one-way ticket to heaven. If anyone goes near you without Joker's express permission, then I've been ordered to make sure you are taken out ASAP. Looks like you're a fight. What the hell? No, no. Damn, I should have checked if there were more guys. How didn't you know Obama? Wouldn't you have insight into these sorts of things? I'm not entertaining that idea, Donald. Wait, doesn't this look familiar, guys? Um, no, what the hell are you talking about, Sleepy Joe? Are you having a dementia moment? If so, remember to press the green button and not the red one. Yeah, I remember. But what I'm talking about was actually something quite popular. I think the girl was surrounded by five Obamas and was sitting on a couch instead. Joe, you cannot be talking about that shit. Why, is it bad? Don't listen to him, Joe. Barack is just being a wuss. You should actually search it up. It's a pretty wholesome video. It's called- That's enough. No more talk about that video. Come on, Barry, I'm a big boy now. I finally stopped watching that brain rot Coco Melon and moved on. Oh, really? So tell us, what show are you watching now? I'm watching Bubble Guppies, man. I love those small kids dancing and just singing around. When will you grow up, Joe? He's already too far gone, Obama. Got a few more surprises in store for you. Prepare to face your fears. All of them! <laughs> Whoa, what the hell is Batman getting sprayed in? Either that's Joker's laughing gas or Scarecrow's fear toxin. I have fear toxin? 
Oh, sweet Mother Mary, please don't let it be that. What the hell? I thought we were playing Batman. Obama, please, can we finish this later? I don't have my depends with me right now. You better suck it up, Joe, because we are not stopping because you pissed yourself. If only Scarecrow was real, the amount of pranks I can pull off would be amazing. Yeah, too bad all those pranks would all be against the Geneva Convention. There's no point in a prank if there's no stakes in place. Are you guys just not seeing what's happening? Commissioner Gordon is dead and Batman has red eyes. Guys, this is getting too scary. Joe, stop being a puss and suck it up. If you want to see something real scary, just look at the Suicide Squad. Kill the Justice League game. Now that shit is scary. I'm sorry. Man, I remember when the game was announced right after the disastrous launch of Gotham Knights. I was gullible enough to believe that it would turn out good after hearing that it was connected to the Arkhamverse. I damn near made the Geneva Convention look like child's play. Ah! Obama, hold me. Keep it together, Joe. Isn't there a day where you don't embarrass yourself or the country? Don't worry, Obama, once I sweep Joe at the elections. I'll make America great again. You'll just be switching out a clown for an even bigger clown, quite literally, too. At least when I embarrass myself, it can be funny. Just look at my clean-ass dab I gave out. I'm glad our handshake stuck with you, Joe. Yeah, that was pretty clean, but that's about the only nice thing I can say about you, Joe. Oh, sweet Mother Mary, I don't think I can handle this. Joe, it's just a game. It's not like you're actually in the Arkhamverse, because if you were, then Gotham would have been cooked. Now, if it were me and Gotham, I would have saved it day one. Believe me, just look at how I handled the United States. Then Gotham would have been erased from the earth. You're lucky that I came in from your disastrous presidency to save this wonderful country. Guys, stop. We promised that we would leave the politics out from our gaming sessions. You're lucky that your boyfriend came and saved you, Joe. We only dated for a day before Michelle came and snatched him away from me. Wait, what? What are you trying to do? Finally, I was starting to fall asleep. I thought you were scared, Joe. Yeah, but now I'm starting to feel a bit eepy, so see you guys later. Jill has to put parental control on that man's phone. Honestly, I guess I'll be seeing you later, Obama. Yep, see you later, Donald. Hopefully you can sit better next time. Wait, you knew? I can't believe Joe did this to me. Are you angry that now you have to try? Don't make me laugh, Obama. Do you really think that Kamala has any actual chance against me? Yeah, I do. I may not know her as well as Joe, but I know she can definitely beat your obese pumpkin ass. Oh, screw you. Now is Joe going to join? Maybe he's too scared to face me. I don't know. I just hope he explains to us why he dropped out, but I swear if it's for a stupid reason. What's up, guys? Don't what's up us? Why the hell did you drop out the damn election? Did you finally realize that you couldn't beat me, so you had to make your sandwich maker take over? Donald, that's sexist as hell. Let him talk his shit, Obama. He'll need it when he gets beat by my VP. As if... Before you guys go at it again, Joe, can you tell us why you dropped out? Oh, uh, it's a pretty funny reason, actually. Oh, my God. Spit it out already. Okay, Kamala told me if I dropped out, then she'd let me hit. Are you fucking serious? I have no words to describe how disappointed I am right now. Let's just continue on, because if not, I will crash out on your stupid ass. Come on, man. Hey, now look. Harley's under strict instructions to kill the old man. Barack, don't be shy, she won't bite. Oh my God, Joe, I thought Jill would have satisfied that weird ass fetish. It's not a fetish, Barack. Plus, when I saw Jill put that suit on, I nearly became O.J. Simpson and almost beat the malarkey out of her. Wasn't it your idea to make Jill dress up as Harley? You guys should have stopped my dumb ass. That might have been my worst idea I had. How dare she disgrace my beautiful Harley? It's up there in terms of stupid shit you're done. But since you're so into Harley, what do you think of the Harley and Batman caped crusader? Dog shit. shit. Looks like we finally agree on something annoying orange. You might run the country like complete shit, but at least you know when something gets ruined sometimes. Guys, Harley is not just for sex appeal, you old geezers. 
She can be her own character without looking hot as hell. What was that Barack? I, I mean, she can be interesting even if she's not being overly sexualized. Now that's better. No wonder you were acting so weird, Obama. Now you can speak your mind. Come on, Barry, let it out. Look, just because Michelle was looking at me with killer intent doesn't mean my point will change too much. I still think she can be her own character. You never seem to disappoint me, Obama, first with Obamacare, and now this. I'm disappointed, Obama. How was I ever your VP? You guys can kiss my black ass. That was... Remember! <laughs> you took longer. If I was Batman, then me and Commissioner Gordon would have done a tag team, if you know what I mean. Joe, what the hell is wrong with you? Do it. Can I join? All right, that's enough. We already had this conversation. Let's not repeat it twice. Then maybe we can stop calling me a creep because it's not true. Joe, I sent you a picture of Barack's baby photos. Wait, how do you have those? Holy shit, I need to see these. What the hell? These aren't Obama's baby pictures. Clearly not dumbass. So what did you send him? He just sent me pictures of his big oily ass. I think I like these better. Joe, delete those pictures. Well, at least you beat the creep allegations. Too bad you're never gonna beat the freak allegations. Oh man, this brings back some memories. They weren't good, so can you skip this, Barack? Um, no, Joe, I'm not gonna skip this. What, does it bring back some memories when your old pal Corn Pop beat your ass? Keep Corn Pop's name out your fucking mouth. Settle down, Will Smith. My bad, I just get very emotional when someone talks about Corn Pop, even if he was a bad dude. Yeah, very emotional, but you wanna know something? Trump, if it's something about Bane jumping the border or being an illegal, then no one wants to hear it. Why Obama? Does it make you uncomfortable knowing that Bane is one of the people you keep letting in our country? Wow, it takes about 10 seconds to search up my border policies. And realizing that I kicked out more illegal immigrants than your dumb ass. Then why aren't you agreeing with me, Barry? Because I'm not a bigot. And I can actually see the issues of our border crisis. Then why did you keep targeting Middle Eastern hospitals? No comment. This time, I break you! Radio claims he's planted bombs all over Gotham. Gotham will panic. You're needed there. We're ready to go now, sir. Bane called Dr. Young Bruja. What does it mean? It's Spanish for witch. No! Goddamn Trump, your loud ass almost blew my ear out. Let him be Joe, his ass just got served ultimate karma. This can't be possible. He fucking knows Mexican. I need some air. Damn, he's acting like his favorite McDonald's got shut down. Right, he just needs to eat some McDonald's and he'll be right back. I built it years ago. Oh, hey Donnie, need something? What the hell did I tell you about calling me that? Sorry, Daddy, I, I mean, Donnie, I, I mean- Shut it, get your ass over here and bring me 400 Big Macs. 400, isn't that too much? Question me again and I'll release that video on you fucking that couch. Not my problem, that couch looks so damn breedable. Talk about that couch one more fucking time and I'll make sure you live your miserable life in a goddamn wheelchair. Can I fuck your couch? <laughs> okay, I'm back. Man, and here I thought I was free from hearing your annoying ass voice. Very funny, you both know you can't get rid of me that easily. Wish we could, but you must have taken Batman knowing some Spanish pretty badly. Thank you, Obama, at least someone cares. I was being sarcastic, smartass. Almost every version of Batman knows Spanish. Barry, please tell me you're capping. 
Donald, if you were a real fan and not just a Zack Snyder fanboy, then you would know that Batman knows every language. Doesn't Ben Affleck's Batman know every language too? I don't know, I don't remember if he does. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. I don't know if I can continue on with this knowledge. Grow up, Donald. Or maybe age down. I'm going to ignore what you just said, Joe. On. These notes aren't complete. The formula is missing. That must be the secret Dr. Young is hiding. If Joker gets his hands on this, he will create an army of a thousand Banes. You know what? I just had a better and more original idea than the Trump mobile. Donald, it doesn't take the greatest detective to know that you're going to try and recreate Venom. Venom? Like the one in Tom Hardy's movie? Wrong Venom, Joe. But Donald, why do you even want to create Venom? Don't tell me you're trying to compete with George's war crimes. If I wanted to, then I would quickly become the only president to break every rule in the Geneva Convention. Actually, why don't we have George in the call? It would be nice to have one more person in here. Hell no, you get that nerd in this call and I'll come over and beat your monkey ass. Come here then, you obese motherfucker. Guys, calm down, no need for a fight. That's right, Obama, have your little boyfriend break the fight. Fuck you, Trump, Barry would beat your obese pumpkin ass anyways. You know what? Screw you guys, I'm leaving. Well, that was short-lived. Whatever, now I have an excuse to get my 101 ice cream fix. See you later, Barry. I'm gonna call George. Maybe he can join us one of these days. So yeah, if you ever need to know how to hide a body, I'm your guy. Joe, how do you know this? You really don't wanna know. You're probably right. Let's change the topic. Have you heard anything from Obama? He's usually the one that gets here early. No, not really, but it's okay, Donald. You can just keep watching me play. That's the issue, Joe. I don't want to watch you play. You're always hating anime. Maybe you should give it a try. I know you'll like it. Fuck no. Just give it a try. Here, let me tell you my first ever anime. Please, so, Obama, Obama, come here as quickly as you can. I don't know how much longer I can last. No Pico. Thanks for inviting me here, Obama. It's, uh, interesting. Yeah, I wanted to hang out at a better place, but we have to lay low since that shootout at McDonald's was pretty crazy. Makes sense. Well, I'll cut to the chase. Would you like to play with us? Just know that it's going to be me, Donald, and Joe. You know you could have just messaged me like a regular person and not dragged me here to this freaky ass place. Oh, really? Well, damn, I guess my plans got ruined. You had plans, Obama? I don't swing that way. Very funny, but since you agreed, then let me get you back home. It's the least I can do. Thanks, I was getting ready to leave anyways. I don't like how that bird is looking at us. Yeah, I don't like how that freaky ass bird is looking at us either. Let's go. Hey guys, ready to get this game in motion? Please, Obama, just start the game. I need something to take my mind off what Joe just told me. Jesus, you sound like your favorite McDonald's store closed down. Oh, hey, George. Nice to see that you were able to join us. Wait, George is here? What the fuck did I tell you about bringing this nerd here, Obama? Looks like it didn't take long for you to come back to your regular self, Trump. Shut it, Obama. Tell me why Topple Towers is in this call. Chill your greasy ass, Trump. Why the hell don't you even want me here? Yeah, Trump, I thought you liked racist people like Kanye. Joe, I'm not racist. The Hurricane Katrina response says otherwise. Okay, guys, let's chill out for a second. No need to be hostile. Now, Trump, George is now part of the group and will be joining us from now on. It was voted by the viewers, so suck it up. Damn you, Barry. Why not break the fourth wall and bomb those who voted for George? Stop bitching, Trump. I'm here to stay whether you like it or not. Fine, but just know I'm not happy about this. When are you happy? I'll be happy when I become the president and kick out all of you dumbasses who didn't support me. If the day comes when your goofy ass gets elected again, is the day I'll admit that 9-11 was an inside job. Wait, what? But there's no point in thinking about hypotheticals when I know that Kamala is gonna beat your crusty ass. And what makes you so certain about that, Middle East invader? Can we back it up to where George said that 9-11 was an inside job? How about that whole stream you did with Elon, where you two basically jerked each other off? Are you just going to ignore me? First of all, George, I didn't jerk anyone off, and even if I did, I was wearing socks, so it's not gay. Wait, wearing socks makes it not gay? Fuck. Joe, I don't even want to know. Obama, you can't even be talking when your whole wife is a man. Again with this? I thought I cleared up the allegations already. Nuh-uh, Obama. How about you send us some nude pictures of Michelle so we can tell if it's a man or not? I'm telling you, Donald, you're going to regret that. George is not lying. Michelle has that 16 inches of- If you guys keep talking about Michael, I, I, I mean, fuck. It's all good, bro. Doesn't matter if you're straight or a fruit. 
We support you. Yeah, Obama, it's 2024. No one here is going to judge you. Except me, you fucking f Hey, this is weird. The payments to Dr. Young's account didn't stop exactly. You know, this is one of the few things I hate about games. You don't even have to say it, Joe. Whoever thought backtracking in a video game was a good idea needs to be waterboarded. Didn't expect any less from the war criminal. So this is what they mean, the pot calling the kettle black. In this case, it makes sense since you're black. Este maldito güey no sabe que yo tengo sus coordenadas de su casa. You motherfucker, stop that at once. Uh, that's hilarious, Obama. Did you learn Spanish just to piss off Donald? You know it. Ain't no way Trump got triggered from someone speaking Spanish. Man, if only you were here last week. Donald was tweaking out because he found out that Batman knows Spanish. I cannot lie. I was overreacting a bit last time. Knowing you, I highly doubt it. Shut it, Twin Towers. Like I was saying, at first I thought that Batman knowing that taco country's language would worsen him as a hero. Does he ever hear what he is saying? George, you don't even know the half of it. But then I realized that every great man has their flaws, and this is one of Batman's greatest flaws. I bet he didn't even want to learn the yellow tint language, but Alfred forced him. Alfred is the real villain here. You really are a lost cause. You want to know something, guys? What? That if someone were to check your hard drives, that you would be sent straight to Alcatraz? Damn, George. Haha, <laughs> no wonder you're called George W. Bush. Fuck you, George. Okay, Joe, what were you going to say originally? Barack, do you really think this old fossil would remember anything? Who are we talking about? Is this about the queen? Nope, but she's a close second to walking corpse status, literally. That's fucked up. Yeah, Obama, it's not cool talking about the dead like that. That is not very skibbity Riz Obama, plus the queen is fathom taxing in a secret location. What the hell did you just say? Yeah, he, um, does that often. Most of the time it's utter nonsense, so just ignore it. I'm going to a he-go to your speeches later, Barry. I'm on the clock right now, so I'm gonna leave for a second. Okay, now Barry can't stop me from spreading the truth. What are you on about Donald? Are you going to tweet out your love to Kamala? Yeah, no. You've been going on a lot of podcasts, Donald, and honestly, they're all ass, mostly the one with Elon. Shut it, Joe. Your broke ass just couldn't comprehend our magnificent conversation. Donald, Elon barely responded to anything you said. And each time he did try, you just cut him off or didn't stop your yapping. Also, did you bite your tongue or something? It sounded like you were sucking. Enough, I was sucking on nothing. Okay, there. So did I miss anything? Nothing was missed, and we are moving on. Damn, what got you so mad? George was exposing Donald, and Trump was about to tell us how he sucked. I said we're moving on. Okay, I have to be slightly more careful. I don't really know how more careful you can be. Aren't you just doing the same thing you always do, but faster? Basically. Well, as long as it's fun, then I guess it doesn't matter much. Have you ever played any Arkham games, George? I will say, though, if you answer with Suicide Squad, I will order a drone strike to your house. Calm down there, Obama. No need to pull out the strap. I only ever played Arkham Knight, and I haven't got the time for the other ones. Well, you should look at some gameplay so you won't be too lost. Or you can look at our videos. We're being recorded. Calm down, Joe. Just a simple fourth wall break. Oh, yeah, we also play Spider-Man PS4. Does Spider-Man know Spanish? Who's Spider-Man? Uh, I don't really know much about comic book characters. I mostly stick with manga. I'm just going to assume he doesn't, because if he does... I don't know, I'll probably just go beat up Joe. What the fuck did I ever do to you? What the Oh no. What? Are you scared, Joe? That would be sad as hell. This is a video game, Joe. 
Come on, George, with this new technology coming out, these graphics are looking more realistic each year. Joe, you walking bag of dementia. This game came out in 2009. The graphics are still scary. No, they are not. How about we just ignore Joe's rambling and just continue on with the game? That is literally the best thing you have said this whole session. What are you doing, little bat? Ah! Joe, shut your loud ass up. You nearly blew my eardrum. Yeah, I honestly take off my headset each time Joe screams. How the hell do you even predict that? He was my VP for eight years, so I basically know when to predict it. Yeah, remember to send some roses, too. Uh, who are you sending roses to? Oh shit, did I forget to mute? I think you unmuted too soon, and don't go saying that those roses are for your wife. We all know that's BS. It's for my daughter and nothing else. Hey, you what? Trump, I never knew you were into that. Yeah, man. That's just as messed up as Joe's child sniffing addiction. It's not like that. Then what is it, Donald? We won't judge. Fine, but you guys better not tell anyone. I promise. Same here. Joe, that means you too. Fine, I promise I won't tell no one. Okay, thank you. The person who I am sending roses to is Kamala. Hey Kamala, Trump has a crush on you. Joe, you promised. You have bullied me countless times, Donald. It's time for some payback. And plus, I had my fingers crossed. Not gonna lie, Trump, that's weird as hell. Yeah, aren't you already married? Are you trying to get a fourth divorce? You just don't get my 400 IQ play here. I'm not doing this because I love her. But if she falls for me, then she'll have no choice but to drop out since she is in love. That shit makes no sense. How about we move on? I really don't like the mental images I'm getting right now. There's no escape. This should be good. Do you guys want to stop? Yeah, I need to go and help out Jill with her toe manicure. Pray for me. That's disgusting. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. I need to get ready for my proposal. I, I mean, my smear campaign. Should we stop him? Nah, but I can't wait to see those headlines. Orange man tries to riz up Sleepy Joe's VP. Screw you, Barry. I hope Michael gives you that 16 inches of venom. This was fun. I guess I'll be seeing you later from now on. Welcome aboard, George. Get ready for some crazy-ass adventures. So yeah, if we focus on nuclear power, then we could power enough fans to cool down the whole world. Solving global warming. Wow, that was the stupidest idea I've ever heard in my whole life. Joe, not only would that be impossible, but even if that would work, it would literally take at least 100 years. And just live longer. Not so easy for us, you fucking fossil. Just get good. How would that even be possible? No point in asking that Obama, Joe probably forgot already. Actually, where is Trump? Is he not gonna join us? You know he's always late to these things, Joe. But maybe right now he's trying to escape the police. Again. Yeah, I have no fucking clue how they even allowed that shit in the debates. Wait, what happened? Was that part where they showed some of my baby pictures? If they are any of your baby pictures, they were probably carved in stone. But no, just search up debate leak. Oh boy, I hope they leaked some of Kamala's nudes. So we're back from the commercial break. Let me introduce you to the new studio. Why the hell are we on a green screen? Sorry for that, President Trump. What were you saying? I was wondering, why in the hell are we on a green screen? You know what type of power you're giving the people, right? Don't worry about that, Mr. President. This is only so we don't have to waste time on a good background. So, you're broke? And you aren't? Anyways, Let's continue this debate with VP Kamala Harris. What do you think about the immigration problem that we are facing? I think we should deport those boys. President Trump, we were asking Kamala Harris, please wait your turn. Thank you for your response, now President. What the fuck you mean, thank you for your response? She said nothing. What are you laughing about, bitch? Now President Trump, if you would like to respond to what Kamala said, that's okay, but just keep the swearing to a minimum. We're live. I don't give a flying fuck if we're live or not. She literally said nothing. How do you expect me to respond to nothing? 
She was very clear on her stance, President Trump. But this question is getting you a bit worked up, so let's move on. This is complete bullshit. Okay, let's start with you, President Trump. How would you handle global warming? The hell is global warming? Is that a new item in McDonald's? Such a wonderful response, Kamala, or maybe I should call you President Kamala. Is this a fucking joke? No one was talking to you, fat ass. 763 Big Rock Cove, DeSoto, Texas. I... I'm sorry? That's where your family lives, right? Hey, let's calm down now, President Trump. You may want to call them. It may be the last time you hear from them. Cut to commercial. Oh, what I would do to be in his place. Both of you are old as hell, but at least one of them isn't a freak. You do know Harley would probably just beat your old ass up, right? Even better. And the Donald has finally joined in? Man, I'm surprised we're even hearing from you after what you did. Did you forget what the Supreme Court ruled? Yeah, a common Supreme Court L, granting you immunity to basically anything. Except tax fraud. Shut it, Joe, don't ruin my week. Just like how you ruined J.D. Vance's week? I know the guy's weird, but completely discrediting your own VP pick is crazy. That motherfucker just keeps spouting random shit and I'm getting sick of it. My brother in Christ, you picked your VP. You guys should have stopped me. I'm not even running for the presidency, but I bet if I did, your dumb ass wouldn't even get picked. Keep talking like that, George, and maybe some missiles will land on your home. Try it, bitch. I got 40 tons of TNT underneath Trump Tower waiting to blow up. I, I think that would cause more damage than toppling Trump Tower. As much as I like explosions, this is being done in American soil, so please just stop. And why would you care? Weren't you born in Kenya? George, this better make 9-11 look like a fucking joke. Let's just all calm down. No need for World War III. Joe's right. Let's just all calm down before we do something we regret. We're friends after all. Yeah, maybe I did go a bit too far. Sorry, guys. That's probably the only time we'll ever hear you apologize, but I'm sorry too. All right, let's continue on. Ew, who the hell is this bitch? Okay, no more nice Donald. Joe, you delusional old bastard. How dare you speak about poison ivy like that? Gotta agree with Trump. What the hell did I just hear come out your mouth? I may not be a gooner like you or Donald, but even I know that you're spouting some bull. You guys can't be serious. You're defending this hippie looking bitch. I know with your age, your vision must be complete garbage, but I didn't expect you to just dismiss such an amazing design. Like I said before, I don't agree with Trump very much, but I know sexy when I see it. I know I stay silent when talking about scandalous women, but even Michelle would understand that calling Poison Ivy ugly is a war crime. Did you guys forget that she's basically a plant in the Arkhamverse? Here I thought the furry community was bad, but you guys literally want to fuck a plant. A hot looking plant, I must say. Nah, I'll stick to my human characters. Thank you very much. Harley! Ah! You have to help me. Ivy? Gee, you look like crap. Maybe I can seek you some shampoo. The plants, can't you hear them? They're crying out to me in agony. Yeah, well, I really don't have time for this. Please let me out. They'll die without me. I don't know, Red. You're not on Mr. J's party list. Oh, well. Uh, please. Uh, ah, what the heck, I'll cut you a break. Talk about a nuisance. I just hope this leads to a Harley boss fight. This plant is ruining my experience. Is this like a fetish or something? You don't even know George. This guy bought a Harley Quinn costume so Jill can cosplay as her. Okay, it's definitely a fetish. Yeah, I went pretty deep in that rabbit hole. I even have a few new characters I like. I can say with confidence that no one wants to hear your crazy take. Just like we didn't want to hear your voice in the debate. Yeah, you were saying some crazy shit before the commercial break. Like claiming that the Haitians are eating cats and dogs? How the fuck did they let you say that shit? Because they know it to be true. Except it's not. The closest thing to that was an American woman eating her cat. And that was in Ohio. I was still half right. Obama, don't even bother with this clown. He's clearly too far gone. That's ironic. Yeah, this debate was bad, but not as bad as the first one. You were getting cooked, Joe. I ain't gonna lie, I was getting cooked. See, I told you losers that I would win this debate. 
Donald, you didn't win shit, but I also see that Kamala didn't win anything either. You guys are still neck and neck. Now we gotta wait till October 1st to see the VPs. That could make or break it. Fuck! Yeah, I really can't see a future where JD doesn't embarrass himself. You never know, George. Maybe JD pulls all the stops and cooks Tim Waltz. I'll eat a boot if that happens. Surprise! Yes! Calm down there, Joe. Remember, your heart can't take a lot. Fuck that. My beautiful Clussy is back. Did you just call Harley Quinn Clussy? I can't even blame Joe too much, but just tone down the creep factor a bit. I cannot promise anything while my beautiful Clussy is here. Christ, should we stop bothering with his nonsense? I'll rather keep him in check than to see where that twisted mind wanders to. Just look at Trump, for instance. Hey! True, but it does get hard trying to stop him. You know I'm here in a full-grown man, right? You don't act like a grown man at all. And you do? Look, Joe, just keep the creep factor to a minimum, or at least keep it to one section at a time. You guys do know he'll just forget this conversation, right? And we keep telling you to stop spouting whack shit, but you still do it. This actually got me thinking, how the hell did they set up these traps up so damn fast? I mean, Arkham is where all the Trump and Joes go, so they probably already do some of these things normally. I would cream my pants if I knew that Harley was so close to me. The hell are you clumping me with creepy geriatric Joe? Wait, do you think Harley would be into diapers? Scratch that. If Joe wasn't such a freak, then both of you would be identical on the whack shit you spout out. And don't even try to defend yourself, Trump. Your ass is getting caught daily with nonsense. Screw you guys! Even if you losers don't think I won the debate, which I did, then I'll just have to train Vance and make him beat walls. Here he comes, Mr. J. Excellent. I'll leave it to you then, my dear. Get him! Okay, Joe, keep your creepy outburst to a minimum. Aye, aye, sir. You should just mute him, Barack. Why are you ignoring the issue, George? This isn't a Hurricane Katrina incident. And why are you deflecting Donald? This isn't January 6th. All right, how about we just calm down, guys? And don't you dare bring up any of my shit I did as president. How about those times when you and You shut the hell up, Joe, unless you want your search history to be revealed. Die, you big ugly bat! <laughs> okay, this should be a good spot to stop. I'll see you guys next time, then. Maybe we'll have a calm week this time. I doubt it, George, but one can dream. What the fuck? What is it now? Vance just went on NBC and told them that we lied about the dog and cat eating thing. Yeah, this country is doomed. I need a stress reliever. Maybe golfing can help me out. This October 1st can't get here any quicker. We should really be taking these debates more seriously, but I can admit that October 1st is going to be special. We'll see you guys next time. Full house, guys, I finally won. Joe, we're not doing this again. Is he still at this? Joe, you lost, take the hint. I'm surprised that Joe is the one taking this loss so badly. I for sure thought Donald would be the one being butt hurt. Uh -huh, very funny. Come on, guys, I gotta win before the rapture happens after all the other- Joe, that's old news? What, I just barely heard of it. Joe, that happened like two weeks ago. Just how slow are you with the news? Shit, man, I better get my speech ready for 2020. Well, it's still sad seeing one of the OGs go. I didn't watch the President Discord server much, but I did watch his other channel, Ghosts619. Maybe he'll snap out of his weird-ass illusion and come back to making funny videos. Like us. Joe, we're not that funny to be frank. Who's Frank? That's why with each episode, we strive to be better and better. Or at least until we kick off Donald. What the fuck? We're just joking, Donald. Can't really kick out one of the originals. You're damn right. That's why we're kicking you out, George. Can't have you blowing up more towers. Now listen here, you crippling bag of dementia. Calm down, George. It's just a joke. I don't have a sense of comedic timing. Joe, just shut up. You need to stop this now. Before it goes too far. Stop. But everyone's dying to see what I do next. Let him go now. Really? Okay, if you say so, that. No! <laughs> you 
really need to speed things up, Bats. At this rate, you'll never catch me! <laughs> Punk-ass Joker, I bet if I was there, this whole situation would be handled in two days tops. Donald Batman was able to handle this in one night. Donald, with your size, I would be surprised if you even make it to the entrance in two days. He'll need about a month to just move from the entrance to the actual asylum. Screw you guys, I bet your asses would just sit down and do nothing. Just one phone call from me and I would have sent that whole island to kingdom come. What about the people inside the asylum? Survival of the fittest. I'll just send Batman, no need to get any towers dirty. George, what are you talking about? There are no towers in Arkham Asylum. Anything can be a tower, Donald. You just have to look at it hard enough. I'll just eat chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. Hopefully by the 80th tub the conflict would be solved. Look at you guys sending someone else to do their dirty work. While the greatest president goes to face off the danger in person. Donald, do you actually believe your 400 pound ass can take on any of the crazy people in the asylum? I can take on Harley. Guarantee she would not see the Biden two inch pump on her. Joe, shut your mouth right now. You're gonna cut me free anytime soon? Thanks. Are you okay? I'm fine. I eat punks like these for breakfast. What were they doing in here? The ones that weren't hitting me went over there and started doing something to the power controls. I have no idea what they were doing. Hey, look, Barack, it's your secret lover. Trump, don't joke about that. Why aren't you wearing a headset? I am, but it's like she can hear that I'm talking about other women that's not her. Obama, you and me know Michael is packing so you can talk about any woman you like. You want to tell her that? I would like to retract my statement. What are you guys so afraid of? She's a woman, she can't do nothing. It's wild that you're saying that when we both know those miniature hands have never thrown a punch before. Is that right? Obama, tell Michelle that she's a bitch and that she should go back to the kitchen to make me a sandwich. Donald, you are going to die. Do it, pussy. I'll show you that the only one to be afraid of is me. Your funeral, Trump. Obama, do it after this game. discovered our secret lab. Since you've made it this far, let me show you what I've cooked up. Remember Obama to aim for the black guy. It may be friendly fire, but it's better to get rid of the more athletic one first. I hope Michelle beats your ass so hard that you finally become the right skin color. I think killing off an endangered species is illegal Obama. Keep talking that shit. You'll both see how truly wrong you are. Just promise me that you won't sue me. I already have enough of those. Don't worry, Donald. The worst case scenario, you'll be the one asking for a restraining order on Michelle. You are cooked, Donald. Last I heard, she was a sparring partner of Mike Tyson. What, that old washed out guy? I can take him on blindfolded. Donald, your ass would have a heart attack just walking to the arena. You are really overestimating your abilities, Donald. Plus, she was a sparring partner with Prime Mike Tyson. You guys are just scared that I'll beat her ass, but don't worry, I'll go easy on her. If we can't convince you, Donald, then can I have your island? I really want to be like my hero, Jeffrey. Joe, don't do that. Wow, that was really unnecessary. I have no idea what you mean, Obama. How else would he get the gadget? By just launching the pod, I think it has enough speed to break through the old iron bars. I would have just eaten the iron bars. They taste better with age. Joe, you should really go to a hospital. It always amazes me hearing about the stupid shit you say, Joe. Oh, thanks. I think he meant it as an insult. Oh, man. Let's switch subjects. How about we talk about what our Halloween day is going to be? 
Oh, you mean our Halloween special? Man, I still remember our old special like it was just yesterday. What? Joe, what are you talking about? Yeah, we never had a Halloween special. Did you forget to take your meds today? Because I'm certain it's about time for your second dose. How the hell do you know that, Trump? Because this happens each time he forgets to take his meds. He calls me around this hour and starts spouting nonsense. Come on, guys, you don't remember? Well, besides George, he wasn't part of the group. Ouch. Here, let me remind you guys. So how the hell do we do this again? Do I just hand out the hand grenades to the kids and keep the candy? What the hell? No! Do you want to get arrested, you stupid motherfucker? Sorry. Joe, this isn't rocket science. When you hear the doorbell, you open the door and hand out the candy. And please remember to close the damn door. Shit, man, that's a lot to remember. You sure we hand out candy and not the Joe special? The hell is your corny ass talking about Joe? No one wants your weird ass candy. What the hell is the Joe special anyways? Sorry, but I can't give away my secret formula to normies. Whatever, just remember that we each betted $100 to see who would give out the most candy. You guys should just give me those hundreds. After all, no one can say no to the Donald. That sounds like a lawsuit waiting to happen. Well, no point in waiting. See you guys later. Five hours later. All right, does everyone have their count? These ungrateful bastards barely came to Trump Tower. Maybe if you didn't put an entrance fee of $5,000, then maybe your dumbass would have won. And what's your point? If they knew where the best candy was located, then they would have ponied up and paid the entrance fee. Well, and no surprise, Donald comes dead last. What about you, Obama? How many pieces of candy did you give out? I say around 2,000 pieces of candy, give or take a couple hundred. Don't you live in a bad area? Why would anyone come to your house for candy? Donald, shut the fuck up and just give me your hundred. Hold it right there, Obama. The only one you should be giving money to is me. There's no way your ass can count higher than 10. Why should we believe you? I can't count past five, actually. You're not helping your case, Joe. I see that, but I actually had Jill count out the pieces I gave out, and the total came to over 9,000. That's impossible. Why would anyone want to go to your crack den of a house? That's because I gave out the Joe special. Got them hooked with that. Joe, what the hell is the Joe special? It's candy laced with Hunter's special sugar. <laughs> I think I got arrested, but thanks to me being president, I just bailed myself out. Yeah, I'm calling Jill to make sure you give out regular candy. But you remembered, right? No, Joe, you just gave us more reason to not trust you with the candy this Halloween. Wait, did this actually happen, or is Joe just being schizophrenic? I hope it was just all fake, but I doubt it. And Joe, I can't believe I have to tell you this. But don't lace the candy with Hunter's special sugar! Damn, calm down, I won't, I swear. You better. It's all right, my darlings. I'm here. My poor darlings. Yes, I know he's found us, but I won't let him hurt you. I'll kill him first. Ivy, I know Dr. Young mutated these plants to produce venom. Yes, and I heard it through the grapevine the evil woman paid the price. <laughs> I need you to help me create an antidote. Why should I? Let Joker have his fun. I'll enjoy watching you squirm. You've been in the dark too long. Every plant on this island will get the same unless you cooperate. There's a plant growing deep in Arkham Island. Only it can counter the effects of this Titan strain. Where do I find it? Oh, in Killer Croc's lair. What, Killer Cock? Joe, clean your ears, man. She said Killer Croc, not cock, you fucking weirdo. Well, I think this should be a good stopping point. And I pray for your downfall, Donald. Yeah, I'll call you later, so you can take your wife to the hospital when I'm done. How long do you think he'll last? I give him five minutes. I give him 30 seconds. I think he can last for a minute. That was his last record with Melania. What are you talking about, Joe? You know, we're talking about the fight, right? How would you even know that, actually? Uh, see you guys on the Halloween special. What a weird dude. Honestly. Well, see you later, George. See ya.